Quotable Bible verses that help our healing process, especially this time of COVID-19. For I am the Lord, who heals you. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Jesus said to the woman, You are now well, because of your faith. May God give you peace. You are healed, and you will no longer be in pain. So Jesus healed many people who were sick with various diseases, and he cast out many demons. But because the demons knew who he was, he did not allow them to speak. They begged him to let the sick touch, at least the fringe of his robe, and all who touched him were healed. Jesus saw the huge crowd, as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them, and healed their sick. Lord, help! They cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word, and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. The Lord nurses them when they are sick, and restores them to health. Have compassion on me Lord, for I am weak. Heal me Lord, for my bones are in agony. I will give you back your health, and heal your wounds, says the Lord. But what could I say? For he himself sent this sickness. Now I will walk humbly throughout my years, because of this anguish I have felt. Lord, your discipline is good, for it leads to life and health. You restore my health and allow me to live. Trust in the Lord, with all your heart, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then, you will have healing for your body, and strength for your bones. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins, and heals all my diseases. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. He personally carried our sins, in his body on the cross, so that we can be dead to sin, and live for what is right. But his wounds you are healed. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary, and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good, and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. O Lord, if you heal me, I will be truly healed. If you save me, I will be truly saved. My praises are for you alone. My wayward children says the Lord, come back to me, and I will heal your wayward hearts. He heals the brokenhearted, and bandages their wounds. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church, to pray over them, and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith, will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. He said, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God, and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands, and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord, who heals you. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. 
so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you, with my righteous right hand. Surely, he took up our pain, and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace, was on him, and by his wounds, we are healed. But I will restore you to health, and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. See now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open, and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. You restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love, you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health, and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. And my God will meet all your needs, according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to one's whole body. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Therefore, confess your sins to each other, and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. He himself bore our sins, in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins, and live for righteousness, by his wounds you have been healed. Peace, I leave with you, my peace, I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. No temptation has overtaken you, except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful, he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out, so that you can endure it. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, he rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord, for his unfailing love, and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you, with love and compassion. Have mercy on me Lord, for I am faint. Heal me Lord, for my bones are in agony. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. 
The Lord sustains them on their sickbed, and restores them from their bed of illness. I said, Have mercy on me Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. He heals the brokenhearted, and binds up their wounds. Hear Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. May these mending Bible verses help our healing process today, and forever. Can you relate on some of the quotes? Did they give you a lesson? Please like this video and comment down your thoughts. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified on the next video. Thank you.